Hey, Kat here, and I'm going to do the Olympics tag because I've been watching the Olympics religiously as I've been reading because I never stop reading because I'm cool. And it got me really in the mood. Plus, my hair looks really good today, and I'm wearing my Wicked shirt, and he looks like he has no soul and is stealing yours. And isn't that cute? So, let's get started. <laughs> First question, opening ceremony. Pick a book with an incredible opening, um, so yeah, opening, so, yeah. <laughs> and I chose for that Brandon Sanderson, Steelheart. I did not care for the book. In fact, I DNF'd it. Uh, eventually, I will pick it up because I do own the whole series because I suck and decided to not finish the first one before buying the rest of it and realizing that I don't like the series. But the beginning of this book, incredible like explosions death deception like but not really betrayal but whatever and i really enjoyed it and it was like the first whole chapter and it was amazing and then it just went to hell and became a young adult fucking bullshit ah next is the games pick a book uh pick a competition in fiction or something uh a fantasy competition and I wanted to go with dragon writing, but then I realized I actually never read a book with dragon writing. I only read manga about dragon writers. So I decided to not look through my manga list and try to figure out which one I was reading. So instead, I will go with gladiators. I love fictional gladiator matches against some good old wizards and Robert E. Howard. Uh, the Conan Adventures is famous for it. Um... Conan is going against somebody no matter what. May it be a gladiator arena. May it be some other thing. I don't know if gladiator arena is actually technically in the fictional category because they actually did happen. But anyway, this has magic. They they He fights magical people. So, you know, it's fictional. The next question is the original because um, the Olympics is ba uh, was originally Greek and now it's worldwide. So pick a book that's based on a classic and I actually chose a whole genre of books I actually haven't read this one because all the ones I have read are on my Kindle or I gave away or read in the library so yeah I'm picking up this one and that is The Mist of Avalon by Marie Zimmer Bradley and I love Arthurian retellings a lot. I, I've yet to read one I didn't thoroughly enjoy. And I read a lot of crappy ones. Like ones that was like, I'm not, I, I, I hate this. I can see why people hate this, but I still love it. It's trash and I love it. And yeah, I love it. I love, I love, oh, ah, yeah. <sighs> love Arthur and Merlin. Except this one's about Morgana. Mor Mor Morgan. Need to, need to remember that because I've been watching the Merlin TV show and they call her Morgana and that is not her name in the, uh, most tales. So, lies. Next is the internal flame. What is that one set of couple that you think should be together even though the book series made it clear that it would never work? And I'm going to go with myself and Stefan from the Mercy Thompson series. Or Bran. Actually, more Bran. I like Bran a lot. He's bossy. Actually, he's not bossy. I just like him. He's cool. <laughs> but uh, if we're choosing, you know, things that can't possibly happen, though it will. I could happen. Stefan slash Bran and I deserve to be together. Okay. 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 All right. But if we're choosing for actual people in a book, then I would have to go with Marius and Lestat from... The Vampire Lestat and slash the Vampire Chronicles. Uh, I hate Louis. Louis is whiny. And I don't think Lestat should be with him. And I like Marius. I know he eventually gets with Pandora. That's cool. I like Pandora too. But Lestat and them were so cute. They were adorable. And even though Lestat kind of betrayed Marius, whatever. It's fine. I love it. And they need to be together. Marius lives a very lonely life. And, so, and Lestat can help him. Next question is gymnastics. What is a book that has so many twists and turns and you didn't see anything coming? And for that, I'm going to choose um, Patricia A. McKelp's uh, Alphabet of Thorns because I didn't know where this was going 
at all. I thought it was just going to be some nice, standard, typical fantasy book, and I was not expecting that twist. I was leading up to it, but I wasn't quite expecting it when it came about. The other one is the magicians, because halfway through this book, they're out of, I don't know, spoilers, the spoilers, potentially. Halfway through this book, they're, they're out of the school. Like, they're done. It's not like Harry Potter, where they're like, they stay in the school through the whole thing. No. No. They're, they just leave. And I'm just like, what the hell do you do now? And then at the end, they have everything they kind of, like, and then and then the second book happens, and I'm just like, well, but, but everything is done, right? Everything's done. It's not. No. Everything keeps going, and it's bad. <laughs> I, I just don't know what's happening. I still don't, because these people piss me off, so I still haven't finished the second book, but... What? <laughs> Next is The Controversial Judge, and I have a lot of controversial opinions. So, choose a book that differ, you differ from everybody else. And I had a lot to pick, but I decided to choose one because it's most recent, and I absolutely hated this book. And that is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee something. I'm not even going to try. And I hated this book. Oh my gosh, when halfway through when that thing happened, I would have been like, I would have murdered him. I would have full on stabbed him in the face. And she's just like, I, I could kiss him. No. No. Oh my god, no. I would like, oh, I would rip out, I would throw myself out of the window to just to spite him and then take him with me and as I become a ghost and oh, 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 anger seething, anger seething. Oh my god, I'm gonna. Bleh. Calmness. Calmness. Next is beach volleyball. Pick your favorite duo in a book and I lost the book oh there it is <laughs> and I'm choosing Skull Dugri and Step well Valkyrie yeah Step Valkyrie Kane I forgot her last name wow and I love this group he is a skeleton and she is a little girl well and now she's like in this book she's like 17 but she starts off as like a little 14 year old girl and they just go on adventures and do shit and they're sassy like like very sassy they don't like in the first few books they almost take nothing seriously which i adore i love people being in like very intense situations and just being like i love it <laughs> and i this is probably the funniest series i have ever read even though they get very very dark very fast this series but oh my god does their skullduggery and stephanie oh valkyries um banter crack me up oh i love it and i would uh, this is another guy that should should be with me skullduggery i don't mind that he's a skeleton he can just talk to me i'm fine with that next is weightlifting choose the most massive book on your shelf and i have two because I'm not, not quite sure and which one weighs more. So I have 52 Omnibus, which is the 50 DC decided to do uh, 52 comics or for every week or something. I forgot. And I had the bind up. And it's really good. I read this. It's fantastic. But oh my god, it's way a ton. <laughs> and the next one, which weighs more, but I'm pretty sure this one has more pages. And, oh god, and that is the Teen Titans bind up by Jeff Johns, and this one is also pretty massive, I can do some lifting, cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Next is a book that you tore through through record speed, and that is the, um... Darker Shade of Magic series. Even though I didn't like this series, uh, I finished both of them in a day. Because pretty easy reading. Uh, but I don't really like the series, but at this point I might as well keep going, right? I'll finish the other one in a day. Pretty sure I've read all of her books, too. Except the latest ones. Even though I don't really like her as an author. I am... Am I? 
Am I a masochist? Secret Night Swimming. Choose a book series <laughs> that you kept reading, even though you don't know why. And once again, Dark Shade Magic series. I, I, I don't know why I keep reading this. I, I don't like it. I, I don't. I have really huge problems with the second one. The first one was like, eh, okay. Second one, absolute hatred for this book until like the last half. So, I don't know why I keep re I don't even know why I keep reading the author, actually. I don't really like any of her books. But, I'm still here. I'm still there. I'm still gonna read Savage Songs. So, I'm gonna read the third one. It suck. Next question is the tortured fan. Which family, organization, or group do you root for, for even though they break your heart? And I'm going to go with the old gods and American gods. They're kind of the good guys, though they're assholes. And, like, the things they do to Shadow are not very nice. And, but I love them. <laughs> I love them so much. But they're such big a-holes, man. They they suck. Suck. Especially Odin. They suck, man. And I still love them. <laughs> Next is, I believe, called the finale or something, but choose a book that the ending blew your mind. And I'm going with a comic book because I couldn't really think of a book book that really blew my mind. And um, I'm going to go with Hush by Jeff Loeb and Jane. Oh my, Jim Lee. He did the artwork. And this ending blew my mind. I was not expecting it. And there were no hints to it except like little small clues that I wasn't grasping on because I was just like Batman comic. And oh, I love it. It blew my mind. Blew it. So did, um, here, let me grab, uh, wrong one. So did American Gods, by the way. It, it, it blew my mind about how, why does it keep going? Why, why did we need the last 50 pages? I don't know, but blew my mind that it was still going. Just like Return of the King, which is not on the shelf. But that one also blew my mind that it would never end. So, books like that blow my mind. You should read Hush. 